All right, welcome to the second video where we're going to add in a button functionality to our Blinky program. Uh, so we'll generate a new uh, cargo generate for this. We'll call it uh, button latest ESP32 C3 no container STD support. Okay, so we'll go into button and see what we got. Okay, so another hello world program. So we're going to start since the build times take a long time. We're going to start building right now. Uh, so cargo build. Just let that build in the background. Um, okay, so the first thing we need to do is to edit our cargo.toml file like we did in the last video. Uh, so we'll go to version 32 for ESP IDF sys. And now we're going to use ESP IDF pal version 0.40.0. .0 and ESP print line version 0.3.1 and targeting the ESP 32C3. Okay, now we'll go to main. And just like the last video, we need to use a few of these crates. So we're going to use ESP IDF hail. Then we're going to use the delay free RTOS uh, peripherals, peripherals, and then GPIO, I mean, IO pin, pin driver, and we're going to use a pull up or a pull down. Okay. And then we're also going to use the ESP current line crate. Okay. So now, first thing we do is we get our peripherals. We're going to take the singleton and wrap it. And we're going to initialize our LED pin as an output. That'll take pin eight. I'm going to unwrap that. And then we need our button pin. It's going to be pin driver input. It takes peripherals. And we're going to say pin GPIO uh, six. Uh, okay, and we need to downgrade that GPIO 6 to make it generic so that we can use, um, we can set the pull. So we're going to set pull, uh, set it to a pull down, and unwrap that. Then we come into our forever loop. We're going to say if the button pin is high, then we're going to do the blinky. And my blinky is inverse logic, so I'm going to print LED on when I set the pin low for the LED pin. Here are toss. I'm going to delay milliseconds, one, one full second. And then LED pin set high. Unwrap. Print line. Uh, LED off. And then we're going to say else set the LED pin high, which will turn off my LED. Okay, and then we need another one second delay outside of that. Seconds, and we're going to do a thousand. Okay, so now. And a cargo build again. And sometimes with the uh, Neovim, you have to re resave the file to get it to build.
I know the uh, Espresso Rust team is working to reduce these build times. I think I read something like right now the entire uh, crates are being compiled and downloaded and all that. So hopefully in the future these builds will get a little bit faster. I'll just iterate a little faster. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, here we have. Some typos. There we go. Now we have to flash and target risk by debug. And this will be button. Oh, nope. Button. Okay. USB monitor, and if I make that thing high, you can see that it starts toggling. And when I remove, when I don't press the pin, my LED turns off. You can see that. So, all right, that's this example. Leave any questions or comments below. Thanks.